Oh yeah, we're going right. So uh, January 2011, 4, 4. Expand 1 minus x to the half in ascending pairs of x as far as the term in x squared. What a lovely start. What's the formula? It's in the formula book, isn't it? It goes uh, 1 plus x to the n is 1 plus n times x. So we could do that, can't we? We could do 1 plus n times x plus n times n minus 1. n times n minus 1. Now, what's the half minus 1? Minus 1. Yeah. Such a difficult question. Uh, divided by 2 times the x bit squared. And then it would go on, but that's, that's all we were actually asked for. So now we just need to make sure that we're not doing anything silly with uh, fractions. Oops, 1 minus a half, what we're doing? A half, that'll do. Minus a half x, while we're covered. Um, now what have we got here? We've got a half times a half, divided by 2. I think that's an 8, isn't it? And it's negative. And that minus x is squared, so that becomes positive, so it's going to be minus an eighth of x squared. And then the series would go on. Are we happy with that? Yes! Three marks to kick off our core four experience. That is such a nice start, isn't it? Hence expand 1 minus 2y plus 4y squared. Right, well this says hence. As far as the term y squared. Um, because it says hence, we've got to make some connection between that and that, haven't we? And this is 1 minus something. So let's write this as 1 minus something. It is 1 minus, well the something is 2y minus 4y squared to the half. Notice that we had to be careful with that plus sign there, making sure it was negative in that bit. So we are going to replace the x that we had in this expansion with 2y minus 4y squared that we have here. So that's going to become 1, because that was a 1, minus a half of the x bit. And the x bit is that 2y minus 4y squared. Are you all right? Why is it minus 4? Because um, we need to we need to think of it as one minus a thing, because mm -hmm. the x is going to be the thing. Now at the moment this is one minus two y plus four y squared. But we want to have it just one minus something. So the something that we're taking away from one is two y minus four y squared. Because if you multiply out that bracket, it would give you one minus two y minus minus four y squared. So the plus four y squared. We had to have it one minus thing so that that could become our x in, in our new So we are now on to the minus an eighth bit, so minus an eighth of x squared, and the x, remember, is represented by 2y minus 4y squared, so that's going to be squared, and then the expansion <laughs> will go on. Sorry, I just caught a glimpse of Joel peering over the top of the box. It's not really working, is it? Um, which gives us 1 minus... Now, oh, hang on. This is quite nice, isn't it? 1 minus y plus 2y squared. Is that, is that all right? So we expand that bracket. And then down here. Now, what did this actually ask us for? It's wanted this in ascending powers of y as far as the term in y squared. So actually we don't need to get too carried away with this. We don't need to expand all of this. We only need the term in y squared. And the term in y squared is going to be minus an eighth times, well, at the start of this bracket there would be a 4y squared and then there would be some other stuff in that bracket that we don't care about because it's not going to give us a term in y squared. So the answer is 1 minus y and what have we got there? We've got plus 2, <coughs> take away a half. So plus 3 over 2 y squared. And then the expansion will go on. But that's all we wanted. There we go. Happy?